hi and welcome in my another Photoshop tutorial. My name is Marcin and today I will show you how to create perfect dramatic portrait manipulation like this. Uh, actually, uh, about two months ago, I think, I made portrait retouch tutorial, but it's something completely different because now I don't want to do a delicate portrait i mean i don't want a smooth portrait manipulation but now as i said i want to achieve dramatic and anxious look so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and here's my stock image it's nick x stock from deviantart and of course i link her in the description if you are interested in and now let's start at first of course i duplicate my background layer Then I need to sharpen it a little, so go to Filter, Sharpen and select Smart Sharpen. I set amount about 120% and radius about 3 pixels. It gives you this sharpen look. And now duplicate this layer again this layer I called sharpen and this whiten because I made it a little whiten and brighter right now so on this layer go to image adjustments and click the saturate change blend mode to screen and set opacity only about 30%. As you see, our image is a little whiten. Now it's time for Dutch and Burn tool. So create new layer. And we need to fill this layer with color gray. So go to Edit, Fill, and Contents. Use 50% gray. Opacity 100, blend normal and OK. Change blend mode to overlay to make this layer invisible. I zoom it a little on my eyes at first. Select Dutch tool. Select brush size. I set exposure about 30% and change range to highlights. And at first I dodge the eyes. To make this really bright and strong. Maybe it's even too strong, but OK. OK, add some here. Now add some dash on face. But in range midtones. Also add some Dutch in range highlights on her. Now 
And now time for burn tool, also exposure at 30%. I want to make really dark sockets, so add uh, some burn tool in sockets. As you see, it's really strong. Maybe I'll change opacity to 80%. So now it's time for soft makeup because I want to increase sockets a little more. Select the brush tool, but in Photoshop CX6, you have a option tool called Mixer Brush Tool. Select this. I select Custom Wet 20%, Load 10%, Mix 10%, Flow 20%. Uh, that's my properties. And select maybe color, color this, this bronze color. Change Blend Mode to Soft Light and add this strong red makeup. Also create new Blend mode soft light and opacity about 50% and add a little more. Okay, uh, now I add some color to my lips, also soft light, mixer brush. And Change brightness to 60. And okay, it's almost done. And I think it's a good idea to add some filters at the end. So create new layer. Change blend mode to overlay. And go to gradient. In Photoshop CS6, you have some hidden gradients to, to load these gradients to presets. Click this small icon here and then click photographic tuning and click append. As you see, I already have it and it works perfect with this type of image. So for example, I select this. Uh, if you have older version of Photoshop, uh, you need to create your own gradient or or use something different. And of course, you can change opacity on this layer. I set only 60%. And of course, you can add another gradient. Now I change blend mode to soft light. and add something soft, 
something like this. Of course, you can change angle and scale if you want. And OK, here is the original image. And it's my final result. I think it looks OK. I like this effect. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And if you have any opinion, let me know what you think about this effect. And see you in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.